Psalm 22, and I want to read just a brief section from verse 22. Psalm 22, verse 22. These are words which are placed in the mouth of Jesus by the writer to the Hebrews. He actually uh, says Jesus uh, is saying these things. Psalm 22, 22. I will tell of your name to my brothers. In the midst of the congregation, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you offspring of Jacob, glorify him and stand in awe of him, all you offspring of Israel. For he has not despised or abhorred the affliction of the afflicted, and he has not hidden his face from him, but has heard when he cried to him. From you comes my praise in the great congregation. My vows I will perform before those who fear him. The afflicted shall eat and be satisfied. Those who seek him shall praise the Lord. May your hearts live forever. Posterity shall serve him. It shall be told of the Lord to the coming generation. They shall come and proclaim his righteousness to a people yet unborn, that he has done it. And then in John chapter 4, in the context of the encounter between Jesus and the woman at the well, but the hour is coming and is now here, when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For the Father is seeking such people to worship him. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. We thank God for his word, and we pause for just a moment and ask for his help in turning to it. Our gracious God and Father, we thank you for the privilege of singing uh, these words of truth and encouraging one another in light of the wonder of who you are, triune God. And we pray now that as we turn to the Bible, that the Spirit of God will be our teacher, that we might have the reality of uh, that divine dialogue where the Holy Spirit is at work far beyond the voice of a mere man, speaking into our lives and calling us to faith and to trust and to praise and to adoration. We ask this for the glory of your name. Amen. And in this first session this morning, I want to um, bring ourselves in a very topical way, really, to address not the vastness of worship in that the totality of our existence in Christ is the expression of worship. If we take Romans 12, 1 and 2 as a framework, I beseech you, therefore, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable to God, which is, in the King James Version, your reasonable service, which is your spiritual worship, or which is your reasonable service of spiritual worship. In other words, all day, every day, our life's offered up to God. Paul there is using a picture from the Old Testament, uh, the sacrifices of uh, propitiatory sacrifices gave way to sacrifices of thanksgiving. And so he appeals on the strength of Christ's propitiatory sacrifice. I appeal to you, therefore, on the basis of the mercies of God to present your bodies as a sacrifice of thanksgiving and of celebration and of praise. So I'm taking it in this first session that we understand that, that we are committed to that, and that we're thinking far more uh, directly and simply about what that really means by way of expression when the congregation gathers on the occasion of the Lord's Day and on other times 